Honda Fit EX, and this happens to be a manual transmission car. I wanted to see what the manual transmission car was like versus the automatic, because I kind of like the shift. You know, like you like shifting, except when you're in traffic, not so much. But we want to check this out, see what it feels like. It feels comfortable. I'm just kind of going uh, city cruising right here, and I'm going to go around the block. Just kind of do a quick review, feel the clutch, feel the horsepower. It does respond pretty well. And uh, is it throwing my throwing my back into the back seat? Throwing me throwing my back into the seat? No, but it is comfortable. I'm kind of driving it here. It feels really good. I like the way the steering wheel feels. It feels uh, feels pretty secure. You know, it's a, it's really kind of an entry car, entry level car. Um, but even so, it's it's very comfortable. It still has the big screen. It has the sunroof. And uh, it's got a little good pickup. Okay, what I like about this car is it's been restyled for 15. It feels very good. It looks really good. It looks much better than the previous, the previous car. It looks uh, more uh, masculine. It feels a little more sporty. It looks more sporty. And that other car, you know, it was nice. I, I get it. I understand why they... they designed it but you know after this re redesign is much better and you know this manual shift it's for a little car that doesn't have too much power it's fun to, it's fun to shift it it drives very smooth pretty nice they've got the gauges here that are very uh, uh, they're right there I mean you can't miss it got the speedometer goes 140 miles per hour don't know if I'd go 140 miles per hour in this car or if it even can has the tachometers, your miles, fuel mileage, all that kind of good stuff. Air conditioning feels real good. And it feels secure. It feels good when I'm sitting in the seat. So it's kind of nice. It's got that, it's got that feeling like, you know, it's, I know I'm not in a uh, big expensive car, but even so, it's, it, it's got its own little quirkness, its own little uniqueness to it that makes it kind of nice. You don't feel like, yeah, that's right, I'm driving a fit. <laughs> With the redesign and it's got some good power, you know, it, it's okay. Of course, really great gas mileage, of course, too. Now, this is the manual trans. The automatic is a nice driving car too. It does feel a little more sophisticated with the automatic. But the manual still gives you that little element of fun, a little more element of, of power. And it still gets good fuel economy. It is different. You know, there might be a time where you get tired of shifting and that's really reason that's the reason really why people go with an automatic they just don't want to shift and so if you're going to be driving in traffic which is a good commuter car um, then yeah you probably don't want to go with a manual car but you know what if it's if you don't do a lot of commuting I mean in traffic I mean then this is a pretty good little car to drive it's got lots of room in it they have what they call the magic seats that gives you more cargo space So the question is also, how was it on a long trip? You know, I was driving it earlier, and the seat, I was wondering if this is a comfortable seat for a long trip, and you know, it, it is, it, it is okay. On a long trip, you know, you can benefit with, for, with the manual trans, because again, you know, there's a lot of freeway driving on a long trip, and with the manual trans, you can have a little bit of fun. It kind of creates a little bit more excitement. So I kind of like the manual trans. Then there's nothing wrong with the automatic. Like I said, it does feel a little more sophisticated with the, uh, with the automatic, but hey, there's nothing wrong with the manual either. scoot out of its way which is great I like that I like that in a manual that's cool I like to be cool doesn't everybody I 
also nice thing about the EX uh, Honda is if you get the new one, they have the side camera screen or um, video screen. So you turn it on and you can see down the side of the side of the car, see, you know, help you see if you're clear or not. And you also have the power to turn that on or off. And that's kind of nice. If you went with an LX car, the base car, you're not going to have that, but you still get the backup camera. Now, I know we're not really doing a, a long distance uh, review here, but I just want to do a quick review. It's a nice little car. I think it would be a great little road cruiser, great little road trip car. You're going to get decent gas mileage. It's got decent power. It's not a racer. You know, if you entered it into a rally, then you'd probably uh, finish last, but you know, you'd still have a lot of fun and, you know, speed limit's no problem. It, it does pretty well. Okay, and we're back. We're going up the garage here. We'll put it away and, and uh, we'll see you next time.